Hello there, George Co. with Bug Out Trailers. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the hardware used in the Bug Out build. In my Bug Out build, I opted to use a pre manufactured door, and in this case, I purchased this door here, which is uh, 26 inches by 36 inches. This door is available in white and black. Another door that's available is this door. This is another 26 by 36 inch door. These particular doors are what they call a flush mount or a front mount uh, design, which uh, means that you have to screw the door on from the outside into the door frame. This is another door that's available, and this is what they would call a clamp ring style door, which uh, means that you have a outside flange and then an inside flange, and you would screw from the uh, one side or the other to clamp the uh, rings together on the wall. Um, I opted not to use this particular design because it is only 32 inches tall rather than uh, the 36 of the uh, the door that I did use. Next we go to the windows. Uh, the window that I used in my bug out build was a 24 inch by 20 inch window. In um, most cases these windows have a garnish that will accept a 2 inch wide wall and uh, really you could use any size window that you uh, would prefer but I I like the uh, 24 by 20 and uh, then I uh, put it on the opposite wall that the door's on and if I do opt to put a door in at a later date um, I can still uh, make a door cut out without uh, interfering with the, uh, the teardrop wall because basically you'd just be cutting out the uh, window uh, framework when you cut out for the door. Uh, this is another window that uh, could be an option. This one's a 24 inch by 15 inch window. And uh, these are just windows I found on the web. Um, I purchased my windows actually through eBay, uh, through some uh, wholesalers. And then there's also some uh, salvage, RB salvage uh, eBay vendors that sometimes you can get some great deals on windows. Uh, these particular windows that I show you here are in the mid hundred range and I've been able to pick up uh, salvaged windows and uh, surplus windows uh, for under a hundred bucks uh, shipped. The uh, bug out trailers are pretty uh, airtight once you uh, put the canvas and the foam and the glue and everything in together. Uh, the doors seal really well, the windows seal really well, so it is a very good idea to put uh, vents in your bug out build. In uh, my last bug out build, this is the vents that I chose to use. I painted them black and I put uh, four of them, two on each opposing wall, and uh, they seem to work quite well. Uh, the only problem is you don't have any way to open or close them, but again, we're trying to uh, keep ourselves alive. So this is one option to vent the trailer. This is another option to vent the trailer. It's basically the same idea, except for it has a, a little bit better um, weather guard for it. And would install basically the same way. Of course, another option is the 14 inch by 14 inch RV vent. I uh, tend to steer away from these vents now since my first build. Uh, it's just uh, one more point of a water intrusion. So if you can eliminate all that, that's good. But if uh, you can't live without a roof vent, then this is another option. These are the lights that I use generally in my bug out build. I use them for exterior, interior lighting as well as for clearance lights. And I, they work quite well for all those applications. You just have to uh, buy the different colors. 
And to turn off the LED lights, I just use these simple little round toggle switches. And uh, they work quite well because you just use a drill bit, drill a little hole, and then these pop in, and then you're done. Which is way better than trying to drill a square hole like some of the other toggle switches. These are the switch boxes that I use. Um, I like them because they're plastic. Uh, they're basically just a box and they're about uh, one inch deep so you just have to cut out a, a little one inch deep recess into your foam and then these just glue right in and make a, a nice uh, clean application. This is a, uh, a tongue jack and uh, it just makes things a whole lot easier trying to get the trailer on and off the vehicle and maneuvering around wherever you need the trailer to go. Okay, I will be uh, posting links to all these items that I just posted here. So uh, you can check out the links to get a little bit more information on all these items. And again, there are other options bes besides what's on Amazon and uh, you can look around. In most cases though, I found that the doors were only available through Amazon or directly through the uh, vendor. And uh, hopefully next uh, video, we will start the bug out build with the floor. So uh, stay tuned for that. And until then, bug out.